Okay, for this problem, we drop down into a swimming pool on our skateboard from both sides. On the left side, some mass m naught drops some height h naught to the bottom of the pool. Well, on the right side, something twice the mass, 2m naught, drops from half the height, or h naught, over 2. We crash in the middle on our skateboards, moving in opposite directions, and stick together having a completely inelastic collision. And we wonder which direction we wind up moving in the end. And so I'm clearly going to use a momentum lens here because I conserve momentum in the collision. But I'm going to need the speeds, so I'm going to use an energy lens to begin with. And the conversion is the potential gravitational energy turns into kinetic energy for each of them. So as we fall and our gravitational potential energy turns to kinetic energy, we could write the potential energy that you lose is equal to that kinetic energy that you gain. Because the initial energy is only potential energy, so that's my initial energy, and my final energy is the kinetic energy at the end. And we have mgh is equal to one-half mv squared. The masses cancel, and I end up with v final at the bottom is equal to the square root of 2 times gh. So on the left, where we fall from h naught, we could say v on the left at the bottom is equal to the square root 2 gh naught. How about on the right? Well, it falls from half the height. So v on the right is equal to 1 half v on the left. Is that right? No, because this is a square root. And so the velocity of this guy would be 1 over root 2, the velocity of the person on the left. So the mass of the skateboarder on the right is greater by a factor of 2, but his velocity is smaller by a factor of square root 2. So the momentum of the one on the right is greater by a factor of square root of 2. So this one wins, and when they stick together, it moves to the left. And when you add the momentum together, you get the momentum of the left times square root of 2 plus 1 is equal to about 2.4 times the momentum on the left, because the square root of 2 is about 1.4. No, it's not, because momentum is a vector. And these are moving in opposite directions, so we need to subtract this. And the final momentum is about 0.4 times the momentum on the left. And so for the collision, I can say I'm going to switch to a momentum lens because the momentum is conserved in a collision because the forces, the outside forces, are small compared to the forces of the collision. Which is square root 2 minus 1 times PL. Now I want you to notice, I didn't put any numbers in. Was this a good idea? And I think it was because, because all of these calculations were very simple. And so now I'm, I'm ready to finish and I can write, yeah, what is the final mass? The final mass is 3m naught times the final velocity. It's equal to, well, square root 2 minus 1 is about, zero, what is it, 0 0.41? And PL is just, we have from above, m naught v sub L, which is square root 2 g h naught to the 1 half. And from the problem, I know that h naught is equal to 6 meters. So now I like this because m naught cancels, and the final velocity is just 1 third times 0 0.41 
times 2, 10 meters per second squared, times 6 meters to the 1 half. So what is this? This is 0.41 divided by 3 is 0 0.133. And this is 20 times 6 is 120. And square root of 120 is about 11, right? Because 121 is 11 squared. And what are the units? That's very important. I have meters squared per second squared. Do I like that? Oh, wait, we got a 1 half. And so we take the square root of that and we get meters per second. That's 1.3 plus 0.13, it's a little more than 1.4 meters per second. And I did some estimating here. So that's the final speed in this direction when these guys collide.